Reason number one why you need to invest while you're accumulating and while the market isn't going anywhere is that you can buy more shares for your money. Please do remember, stock prices are relatively lower. This means that you can buy more shares of the stock for your money. Over time, as the market recovers, the value of your shares will increase and you get to buy them at a discount. Hey guys, so in this video, allow me to give you five reasons on why you should invest when the market is down, especially if you are a point in your life where you are accumulating. Please do remember when I say you are accumulating, you are in the phase of your life where you're trying to build wealth still and you want to have more. And that's why it's so relevant for you to know how interesting it is for you to be able to build life-changing wealth, life changing gains when everything is down please do remember that everyone wants a market when it's up but you have to realize that the best things that you will ever get from the market is when it's down and before i continue this video by the way is inspired by a portion of rex mendoza's talk last saturday in investment conference 2023 where he showed a chart where the market the psei hasn't gone anywhere over the past decade but that in the 80s, the market didn't really go anywhere, underperformed for a long period of time. But he used that as an area, as an avenue for him to be able to build game-changing wealth. And when the market turned bullish, he just rode it. I just want to mention this before I show you the clip and we continue with this video. The main context of that is if it happened before, the market didn't go anywhere, but he built game-changing wealth wrote it up and that's what we're experiencing again today and that's what we're experiencing again today expect that there will come a point in the future that we're gonna see it also go up again we don't know when but we do know it's cyclical and we don't know it's gonna go up so enjoy the video and then i'll continue with my analysis after look at this inflation all throughout 1960 to 2021 the green line the gray line u.s inflation You know, it's already a matter of record because Marvin actually interviewed me. At the height of this uh, inflation that we have, that's 1984, inflation went as high as 50%. Okay, hindi pa buhay at that time. Okay? Kung takot kayo sa 8 to 10, nagkaroon na tayo ng 50. In fact, that was a month, October of 1994, when we had 60% inflation. So many people are going to be so scared. But Marvin would have told you in his videos, that was the time I'm taking a PLBT at 11 pesos 50 cents. 11 pesos 50 cents that went down to 350. 1986, Corey came into power. Many people were buoyant. Many people were positive. Guess what? In July of 1987, PLBT was at 780. 780 from 350 in 1984. Don't you love inflation? <laughs> So as you can see from the video, it didn't go anywhere for a long time. But when it popped, whatever was accumulated when times were down, you get to ride that in its fullest form. And that's what we're also seeing right now. Reason number one why you need to invest while you're accumulating and while the market isn't going anywhere is that you can buy more shares for your money. Please do remember, stock prices are relatively lower. This means that you can buy more shares of the stock for your money. Over time, as the market recovers, the value of your shares will increase and you get to buy them at a discount. It increases the stake that you have in the company and as the company does better, your percentage, your stake, the number of shares that you own also, you will benefit from that as well. So if you're at the point in your life that you're trying to build and you're trying to accumulate, you don't want it to be up so fast and so early that you haven't had the chance to really accumulate a lot because you'll be buying stocks at very very high prices and by the time you need the money the upside might not be there always remember the advantage the higher upsides come in 
when you buy it when the market is down and not going anywhere. Reason number two, you can take advantage of cost averaging. I've had so many videos about cost averaging, but really the strength of cost averaging is there's no emotions involved. Everything is methodical. You pick a specific amount that you want to put in on a monthly basis or on a cyclical basis whenever you get returns, whenever you get money. And that's what you will decide to deploy, to add for you to be able to buy a stock. And what's interesting about that is as it's not going anywhere, it doesn't really matter to you because it allows you to accumulate, it allows you to stack, it allows you to build, and it allows you to have a longer and bigger base as well. Without the emotions and without second guessing yourself, will this stock go higher? Will the stock go lower? What's gonna happen to it? What should I actually do with it? This really works especially for people who don't have time, who don't have the expertise, or you're earning further from other things that allow you to make money as well. So number three is when the market is down, when it's not going anywhere, you can reduce your risk by diversifying your portfolio. And it would be an opportune time to look at different stocks that you know from different industries and sectors. This will help reduce your risk because your capital is spread out in different sectors and assets. And when one is up, one could be a balancing act. And later on, the one that's down is the one that starts moving up as well. I can't stress this enough that because of this, you're not putting all of your eggs in one basket. This also means that if one investment loses money, your other investments may still be making money. But at the end of the day, the whole narrative of doing this while the market is down is also to spread out your risk. Our reason number four, you have the chance to buy quality companies at a discount. Do remember that when the bull market is set, when there's optimism, you're buying a lot of things expensive. You're buying a lot of things at a premium. When the market isn't going anywhere, that's why you should be happy if you're at the point of your life that you're accumulating because you can get them at a discount. And what's interesting about good and quality companies, you do have the ideology that over a period of time, they'll be there, they'll stay, they'll have staying power, and they'll recover. And as they recover, the stock prices normally follow. So when you buy great companies at a discount, it's like getting a good deal when you're shopping at the mall during sales. These companies will likely do good over the long term. And in a way also, as they start doing better, the stock price generally follows the strength of the company as well. And lastly, and I think this is the most important thing, you get to build wealth over time. When the market is down, as what I've mentioned, you buy stocks lower. But what's interesting is, this is the proper way also to do it. The fastest way to get rich is to do it slow. The fastest way to get to your goals is not by rushing it because every time you rush into get rich quick schemes, uh, you may lose a larger amount of your money there or anytime you also try to enter something that you're not too adequately uh, skilled with you may make wrong decisions but if you're doing it over a period of time you're doing it for the long term it doesn't just build your capital it also builds your experience your acumen and skill altogether that's why it's highly important that you don't rush that's why you don't people get so depressed when the market is down but in reality if you are in your 20s and in your 30s and you're looking at it from a very, very long-term perspective, you're looking at it from a wealth accumulation standpoint, then you see that this is an opportune time for you. This is one of the greatest times for you to be able to build. This is one of the greatest times for you in order for you to be able to, to grow what you have as well. It's not a sprint. It's a marathon. It's not a one-hit wonder, but it's a steady accumulation over the long term that will allow you to build something. It's meant to last forever. So I hope you found this research helpful. If you're thinking about investing, I encourage you to study, to consider investing, especially when it's down. It's one of the best ways for you to be able to stockpile stocks at a discount and build your wealth over time. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. See you all again soon. God bless you all.